Hey guys, Jinra here and I'm back again for another unit review and as the old video says, this is the review for Fang, the daughter of Fei and Fang. I don't know, maybe I should call that Fei and Fang. I don't know, whatever. But this is how we call it, uh, this is what they should do. So, the daughter Fang. Let me start for a second. Alright, as you guys can see, we have the daughter, and she is pretty good, to be honest guys, and uh, she might be even better than the parents, because she is a, you know, standalone Omni with a, from 7 stars to Omni, so uh, that should be better, <laughs> I think. Anyway, here we go. Leadership, Heart of the Phoenix, 60% HP, great. And a boost attack defense recovery relative to remaining HP. So basically, it will increase by another 60% as long as you are at 100% health. So that's the the limit there, and uh, that's what makes it a little bit different. It's it's like having a full 60% all stats up, but uh, unfortunately, the attack defense and recovery has some, um, you know. Um, uh, uh, condition, uh, yeah, condition, you can say condition, so uh, they boost for every HP remaining, so uh, yeah, uh, the less HP you got, uh, the lower the boost it will be, which is not that cool if you're thinking about um, a long battle, because in most long battle, you won't have 100% health to start the fight, unless you bring a healer. So you heal, full health first, and then you attack. Now, that's different. Another thing that can become uh, very good on the leadership part is the 50%, 15% reduction to 4 elements, except dark and light. This is great. This is really good. And a probable resistance against 1 KO attack. This is cool, right? Say remember the resistance against 1 KO attack? Yeah, we have a few units. Yeah, we have a few units that come into mind, but uh, she also has it with this kind of leadership. It's like really good, you know. And uh, the extra skills, damage second may restore HP. Um, it is about 25% chance restore 20-25% damage. So yeah, that's really good actually having this kind of uh, like mitigation, but returning health mitigation. And then add resistance against one KO attack when HP is below 20%. Ha 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 ha. So she can survive twice from the leadership once um, by chances again. And then from the extra skill. So she, if she survived from the leadership, this second one will kick in because it, she's already under you know 20% HP. So it's not easy to kill this girl. Also. Now, Breath Burst. Breath Burst is a uh, 20, 20 combo powerful attack. Uh, boost match HP is 25%. Uh, nice, it's really good. Considerably boost defense based on max, max HP. So the more HP and the more the defense you will get. Uh, the conversion is around, I think, 35% HP to defense. So it's really good. It's a lot, guys. It's a lot. And then greatly restore, uh, sorry, damage second may restore HP and probability of raising allies from KO. Unlike Unosep though, Unosep though also capable of reviving units, but here's the difference. Unosep though reviving unit to full health. She revive a unit to 20% health. So uh, yeah, that's the, that's the difference. So you are basically a little bit um, not at the full power up, but hey, still good, right? She revive as long as it revive, it means good, isn't it? And then super brief burst, 24 combo, powerful fire attack again. Uh, but this time the hugely boost BB attack for three turns, so it's more offensive type. Considerably boost attack relative to max HP. Now. This is what makes Fang a little bit um, annoying. When you use Brave Burst, she's into defensive. When you use Super Brave Burst, she is so offensive. 
so basically that conversion doesn't count anymore because conversion can only count you know one type of a conversion so what sort of conversion you will do that's the one that you will count so she will move into attack mode on super brave burst she'll move to defense mode when you do brave burst so in other words she is not that very auto friendly if you might if you want to call that but um, in most cases she will spam super brave burst anyway so let's just think that she's more of an offensive unit although just just to remember that brave burst can increase your max hp so you might as well use that once before you go full on super brave burst and then greatly restore hp great and another probable raising alliance from ko so that's nice same thing now the ultimate brave burst the ultimate brave burst doesn't attack okay it enormously reduces damage taken for two turns hugely boosts max hp now it up to 35 percent so from 25 to 35 now so you get an extra 10 percent after that, hugely boost attack relative to max HP. The conversion this time is 60% HP to attack. It's a lot. It is a lot. So the damage could be really high with that. And then fully restore HP for 3 turns. And raise alliance from KO. Now this is the best part and the not so best part. When you use the ultimate brave burst, if you are using it to raising your fallen team members then the only one that will get the buff this ultimate breakfast buff are the still aliving one including her i'll show you the proof later on that's what makes this ultimate breakfast is kind of 50 50 between great or just just another super rate burst you know i i mean ultimate break burst so yeah it's kind of it's the one that put her down a little bit so she's she become a unit that is not so op but she's great she's incredible without any doubt now let's look at an enhancement now enhancement 50 percent boost to max sp is something that no one should not take it's it's like a guarantee to be taken she needs that she needs that because her super vapors is very damaging at max hp she will deal 900 percent damage and uh, the lower the hp she got you know the lower the conversion damage she got so she is like rize hp based power uh, considerably boost attack relative to how high remaining hp and then the second one is the active percent boost to defend relative to remaining hp both are at the same amount which is 80% now here's the thing if you want to use her as a full offensive type then take the first one as the attacking one but here's the thing it's really remaining on the HP and the defense is based on the HP lost so it's not really that great if you think about the HP loss because let's think about you only have one HP left totally it will increase by 80% but what's the deal for the 80% it's it's absolutely nothing you only have one HP left so think about it carefully but the good thing is it's based on percentage so if you have 10% 10% left she'll increase the defend by another 80% so that's uh well I mean not not up to 80% now probably 72 at that point because it's 10% but still um if it were me, I won't use it because uh, it's very conditional. Boost to spark damage is up to you. It's all self spark, and then enhance the leadership. Now this is the thing. It's 65. It's quite expensive. I don't think you will want to use it. It's only increased by five percent. It could be. It could be really good. It could be not so good. It could be cool though, but the thing is, it's 65, it's expensive, it takes away a lot of what she can do, so think thoroughly before you actually choose this one, or if you have two fang, go for it. One, you can go for the leadership, the other one just doesn't need to follow this, but in my opinion, this is too expensive, so might as well not do it. And then here it is attack defense recovery reduction. In fact, this is the one that I will take. This is good. 
very good, I'll take it. Uh, add critical damage negation, because we have so many negation units as well, this she can become one of them too, so it's it's not really a bad thing, but uh, think, uh, think thoroughly, like because we have some spheres and some L gifts that also already compensate those things. And uh, because we have also similar type unit that has different set of skills, maybe just maybe you will not want to take that critical part. Add consideration attack boost to fire thunder and then add attack to water and earth. Now this two is up to you, really up to you. The both of them just boost to elemental, elemental attack boost. So based on the element, so if, if the unit is fire, they will get the benefit. If the unit is thunder, they will get the benefit, which is good. It's quite high, 120% boost. And um, I will say this: uh, it is up to you, but uh, it also costs 50 right, for there. She can become a very good playmaker, but um, once again, it is really totally depends on how you want to do it. If it well, up to me, I probably will only take the fire and thunder, maybe not water and earth. <laughs> but again, it will left 5 SP. What that, that 5 SP might probably be a little bit issue for me. But uh, if you want to take two of them, then you probably have to sacrifice other stuff. So think thoroughly before you do it. And uh, that's it. That's it about the SP. And uh, let me show you what's her animation, what she's good at. And before we go for that, I'll just want to show you the revive ability. Whether it's good, whether it's not good, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll be honest with you. It's not so cool. Okay, let's just go for it. Hmm. Can we get into that? Okay, now Redden Let's uh, use the crystal Let's use the ultimate break first Not now though I'll have her guard Now let Pacer get killed To show you exactly that the buff doesn't give it straight away to Pacer even though, even though, to be honest, I see her, the way how she cast. See? The way she casts is, after she finished all the acts, the Taser already revived, but Taser didn't get any of the benefit. Taser already revived, but Taser didn't get any of the benefit. The benefit is only for the leading units. So yeah, that's a uh, that's annoying. To be honest. Yep, that's kind of annoying. Well, that's uh, that's the one that I want to show you guys. So basically, this is the part where it gets uh, gets me down a bit because if HP shield like um, seven stars Phoenix, it hits. It gets into every unit. Even though they die, they revive, and they got the shield, the HP shield, but this one doesn't happen. If they fix it, or if they actually say upgrade it, yeah, maybe she will become somewhat even better with the UPB. Because now you can actually really use it without um, any sort of uh, idea that it is somewhat not so good. Okay, but it is good. It's just... It gets a little bit, um, how do you say, not complete, incomplete for that. She's a bit incomplete with that. Alright, let's see the normal attack animation. Alright, pretty nice, uh, three different strikes. What's about the break burst? The break burst is two different motion, two different strikes. 
That's good, and I can see the numbers is easily spark too. What about the super breakers? It's about the same, so well, 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 she is a easily spark unit. Two different motions, and I'm pretty sure the damage is about the same for both. So yeah, she is a good spark friendly unit. Time to finish this whole thing. Now, how do I grade her? Well, well, well. She's not hard to be graded guys, the only thing that put me down was again, she has her plus, she has her minus, but she got more plus than minus. So definitely a unit that is between great to the very good, uh, great to even greater, but not awesome unfortunately. A unit that is awesome must have so little flaws. Unfortunately, she has quite a bit flaw this in this part, and it's quite big too. The flaw doesn't flow in together with a unit. That's the that's the part that I cannot put her in the awesome level, I guess. Uh, that's for me though. For you, I don't know, but that's what I see. The leadership is good enough, but I kind of been put down by that. Uh, I kind of being put down by the remaining HP part, so that's not that nice for me. ES is already very good. I don't think she does. She needs anything more. She that will probably be too dangerous. She's uh, too good to be that. Um, the breakers and super breakers, as I said before, the conversion put me down a little bit because you will have to. She she's not one way, but she covered a lot. It's just not one way to go. And the ultimate breakers again the rising allies doesn't doesn't put them together. The buff should actually put it all together, you know. That that makes her really impressive. If that one goes in together, I'll call this unit awesome. But unfortunately it doesn't happen. Let's hope it happened. I don't know. Let's hope it happened. Anyway guys, this is the edition for Fang. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys learned something from it. And uh, if you guys still want to know more about her stats and everything, just go to Global Wikia. The Brave Frontier Wikia, they, they wrote everything. I, I basically look at those stats most of the time. So yeah, you should go. It, and it's quite correct too. Okay. Alright, with that being said guys, I've been thanking you all. For sticking with me I know I'm semi retired but it doesn't mean that I stopped playing I still have one lady to go one lady to go that I really want to talk about I really want to review her but I still haven't got her so until the day I actually get her <sighs> let's hope next week okay let's hope next week I'll take her if I get her I get her all right and uh and in the meantime, this is all I can offer and maybe other cutscenes videos uh, just to preserve a legacy. After that, let's see. With that being said guys, alright, thank you very much guys, I've been uh, wasting your time a while now. See you guys later!